Luke and Pharsalia, Episode 3 Quis furor o qui ways quae tanta licentia feerdri, gentibus in vis sis latium praebeerdre cruordrem, cum que super baforet babalon spoli ande tropae is, au soni is umbrae queerdrardret crassus in ulta. Elision, bel agerdri placavit nullos habiturda triumphos. What rage, O citizens, what such great freedom of killing, Ferdri, quis furor, and quae tanta licentia are all nominative. Quis furor is masculine singular, nominative, quae tanta licentia feminine singular, nominative. There is implicit here the verb est, and Ferdri is neuter singular genitive from the noun Ferdrum which is second declension and means a sword. By metonymy, it stands for death. And then the next sentence is rather complicated. Praebere here depends upon placuit, as does the infinitive geiri. Both of these are infinitives. So, did it please to offer praebere latium crurorem? Or could it have pleased? This is the perfect tense of the verb placere, which is an impersonal verb, second conjugation. Did it please, did it not please, we might say, to offer gore, cruorem latium, Roman blood, to hated nations, and when, cumque, Babylon could have been, and this is haughty Babylon, superba Babylon, when haughty Babylon could have been plundered, spolianda, for tropaiis ausoniis, for ausonian trophies. Ausonian here is a synonym for Italian, tropaiis ausoniis, in the neuter plural and dative, since tropaium is neuter. So, was it pleasing, Placoit, to offer latium cruordrem, that is, Italian blood to hated nations, gentibus inuisis, and when Babylon, haughty Babylon, could have been plundered, fordret spolianda, this is a gerundive in the feminine singular and nominative modifying Babylon, as does superba, plundered for the sake of, or with an eye to, Italian trophies, tropaiis ausoniis, and when Crassus was still wandering eraret, as an unavenged ghost, crosses masculine, singular, and nominative, and this umbra in the feminine singular nominative is an appositive to crosses, modified by inulta, unavenged. The reference is to Marcus Crassus, who died at Carai, off near Parthia in 54. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Eraret and foret are both imperfect subjunctives. So, when these things were true, was it pleasing, praebeerdre latium crurorem, to hated nations, and f- was it pleasing that bella habitura, that wars be waged? Geri is a present passive infinitive, and the verb gerere with bellum means to wage a war, that wars be waged. Now, what kind of wars are they? They are habitura wars, wars that would have, here's a future active participle, wars that would have nullos triumphos, no triumphs. That is, because they were civil wars, no triumph celebrated for that. Notice the interlocking word order in this line in terms of modification. The death of this man, Marcus Licinius Crassus, in 53, at Carai, at the hands of the Parthians, led to the dissolution of the first triumvirate and civil war between Pompey and Julius Caesar.